Hello there, and welcome. My name's Cassie, and you have stumbled across me at Junkin 101 with Cassie. Here in front of me, I have a journal I'm going to do a flip through of. This is going to be posted for sale in my new shop that I am launching. It is called Cassie's Boutique, and it's on Facebook. I will be posting the link in the description box down below, so be sure to check that out. Once this journal is sold, it will be, I will edit the title of this video and put sold behind it. That way you know it's no longer available. Um, I invite you to come over and sell in my shop as well. It is a safe place. It's going to be a positive and fun and easy place to be. I just ask that you read the rules and the descriptions of the group and all that stuff before you post anything for sale. And as long as you follow the rules, everything will go smoothly and we'll be on our way to success. So with all the business stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this journal. I want to say starting off, this journal is a very hard one for me to let go. I have worked so hard on this journal. I have worked probably a good six months on this journal. This is one of the best journals I have made. It is by far one of my favorite journals I have made. And if you have seen any of my previous journals, I am a total shabby chic girl. I love my shabby chic. This is a field notes journal. It is not my style but I absolutely love it and I have proved to myself I can do things other than shabby chic. So let's get into this beauty because there's a lot to see and it is amazing if I don't say so myself. So as you can see it is a very big journal. It is made with a kit called um I think it's a botanical kit and it's by Victoria Design, I do believe. So anyway, here it is a hard covered book. I make my hard covered books out of a thing called Book Board by We Are Memory Keepers. It is found at Hobby Lobby by the Cinch Machines because that's what it's made for, but I use it for my book covers and it's a total game changer. So let's take a look at the outside of the book. For the closure, I have constructed by myself a leather strap that has been distressed and inked and sprayed and hand sewn. On the ends, I have these gold metal clasp of some sort. I don't know what they were originally from, but they just interlock like so and make an amazing closure so that is the closure for the book let's set that aside the book measures five and three quarters inches wide and about eight and a half tall Let's take a look at the spine. As you can see, she's very thick. She has three full signatures inside her. And when I sewed the signatures in, I left the strings hanging on the outside of the journal. I did this so that I could put these beads on here. These are all wooden beads. And then I have charms on the ends of them. So since there's three signatures, there's six charms on the outside. Here we have a mushroom. Next to the mushroom is a little flower. We have a leaf. And we have a little pine cone. Then we have an acorn. And we have a tree. And all together on the side of the journal, they look absolutely amazing and adorable. They are at different lengths. Some are taller than others. It's just very, very cute in my opinion. And I absolutely love it. 
Here's the back of the journal. Very simple. I just tore out some of her designed paper. I did some stitching on it, inked around it, glued it down. I did some sprays to kind of make it look like it was dirty, like it had been dropped in a mud puddle or something. Because, you know, it is a field notes journal. So the spine is just a tad over three inches wide. So let's get inside and check her out. I want to make sure you can see everything. And I am good. So inside the journal here. This opens up. And you have a pocket here that has this in it. It has this. And I do want to say there is a lot of stuff in here made by Joy. And if you don't know who Joy is, um, as you watch my channel, I will talk about her quite a bit because she is one of my best friends and I help her with her group. She is JJ with Joy on Facebook. So I'm going to give her a shout out. Hey, Joy. And anyway, she has an Etsy shop as well called JJ with Joy. And some of the items in this book are made by her. She has sent them to me in swaps or things like that. Or she sent them to me because she knew I was making this journal. And Nature Field Notes Woodland, that's like her vibe. She loves it. There are some things in this that I have purchased from her shop. I will point those out as well. So this book is kind of like a collaboration between Joy and myself. I absolutely love how it turned out. So anyway, that was the front pocket there. This was made by Joy. This is a magnet closure, so it holds it closed. So what this does is it opens up, and let's make sure we're fully in frame here. Got some more of the kit here. This flips open and it pulls out. And you have this beautiful floating pocket. It is a pocket. It's made out of an envelope. It's got a little tuck spot here. You could write on this part of it and then cover it up with that. And it just slides right back into this pocket here. I do apologize. This video is probably going to be kind of a longer one because this journal is so big and there's so much to show. There's lots and lots of writing space in this journal, but there's also lots of tags and tucks and things like that. So here on the first, the first page of the first signature, all of the signatures have this paper that came from a craft colored um, 12 by 12 pack that I bought at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure what the name of it is. So here's another tag that was made by Joy. Very pretty. And here is a double layer tag by Tracy Fox that I have just done a little bit of collaging and stuff on. Inked up the back a little bit, sprayed it with some coffee, and it all just tucks into this little pocket here on the front. So like I said, this paper is on the front of all of the signatures. Um, and they are all folders, so they have pockets in them. So here I have made this little card with some die cuts and some acetate over it. And on the back, you could gesso on that and write over it or just leave it. And then I have an Edith Holden book page tag in the front of each signature as well. I've used a little bit of the sari silk throughout and I've used that green ribbon throughout as well. So here's part of the kit. I have included other papers like ledger paper and coffee dyed papers. This is a beautiful kit. And like I said, there's a lot of writing space in here. But there's also a lot of pretty stuff in here. So here I have taken a strip of offcut 
from paper that I've used and I've made a belly band out of it. And I don't know if you've seen them or not, but these little books here of these little like one inch vellum pieces are like popular right now. At least they are in my little group of friends. So I've taken four of those and made a belly band with them. And then I took this chipmunk postcard, did a little cluster on it and just thought that that was cute and could tuck right inside there. More coffee dyed paper. On this one, I had this napkin that had these um, elk and deer and rocks and trees and waterfall and stuff. And I thought that that was just enough to jazz up the page. So here's some more of the kit. More ledger paper. Here is an altered paper clip that is a window out of an envelope that's got some dried flowers in it. Here is a bug die cut. This is a burlap pocket with some collaging on it and inside the pocket is this little trifold that just opens up. It says top secret label whale tail cut little die cut over here little cluster of stuff there inside is this miniature three butterfly specimen card there's a larger butterfly specimen card and then there is a little tag from somewhere I had bought that kit from somewhere and I don't remember whose kit it is or where I bought it. So I do apologize. And then this just wraps around and tucks under like so. Here's a book page pocket with some die cuts, some stamping, a little Tracy Fox nature um, label with some stuff behind it. Here's another item that Joy made. It says Nature. It's a glossing bag that she decoupaged some napkin onto. And there's a little purple matching tag that goes inside. This is the middle of Signature 1. I am going to try and go kind of quick because my husband should be cut getting back home soon. But I want to show you guys everything. So here's another glossing bag. This one I've put some die cuts on. There's some tea bag. There's a negative of a die cut, a stamp, a little fussy cut. There's some natural raffia some of my green satin ribbon that I use throughout the book, some birch bark, and inside is one of the Tracy Fox tags. Here's another piece of the ledger paper. Coffee dyed. This is a legal closure envelope. It comes undone. I've done some stamping, some collaging. And inside is a set of cards that I bought from JJ with Joy on Etsy. She's done a very good job. There's like five or six of these cards throughout the whole book. So I'll just say, you know, that it's another journaling card to the kit I bought or to the set I bought or something along those lines so you'll know what I'm talking about this just closes back up like so I did some stamping on this page to mimic that one <clears throat> lots and lots of writing space There's the other side of that piece of ledger. 
<clears throat> I do apologize. One second. I had to get a sip of water. Here's a Tim Holtz layered pocket with a bunch of ephemera inside of it and a little tag that goes in the top because it is a pocket. There is a paper clip here holding this closed, which makes it kind of harder to put the tag back in. But this is another one of the cards from the kit I bought. I just showed you the other one. And this just flips open and there's room there to write. And then just this little gold paper clip goes back on to keep it shut. In this back pocket here, there is a Tracy Fox double layered tag that I just did some collaging on the back. I put this butterfly specimen card and these have been laminated. They're just little laminated pieces of ephemera and they just tuck up inside the pocket like that. So here is the middle between signature one and signature two. I have an up tuck pocket here with a little cluster that Joy made, a Tracy Fox tag that you can decorate as you wish and another butterfly specimen card. On this side, there's a little decoupage book page envelope that Joy has made that has a butterfly specimen card tucked inside of it. That just goes there over the top. One of the smaller double layered Tracy Fox tags. And at the top here is what I like to call a altered paper clip stuffy. And why I call it a stuffy is because I take a piece of fabric and I put some paper or some pattern paper, sewing paper in it, and then I sew around it and it makes it kind of soft and squishy. So I've just altered that and I've put a paper clip on it and I've decorated it up in the theme and that just goes over there. You can move things around in this book wherever you want to put them because I do have some pockets fuller than others, but I just love the look of, you know, the full pockets and the lots of things on the page and it makes it very interactive and busy and fun. But if you don't like that kind of thing, there's plenty of room in this book to move things around. So inside this pocket, again, is that Edith Holden book page tag that I was talking about. There's some ledger paper, coffee dyed paper, the kit, isn't that gorgeous? Lots of writing room, coffee day or er, coffee dyed paper, ledger paper is what that is. Here's the burlap pocket for this signature. This is made by Joy. It's a little tag. This says butterfly on it. It has some old book page on it. Here is a three butterfly specimen card. And then a cute little mushroom layered tag by Tracy Fox that I've decorated. Here is just a cute little postcard that I thought looked good in here because, you know, it is nature. I love frogs. I think frogs are cute. Thought I'd include that. On this side, um... Joy sells these in her shop. I have this one and a couple more over here I can show you just to give her a little shout out in this book. Might as well, right? She makes these and she has them in her shop from time to time. They're called um, Ephemera Bag of Bits. And what she does is she just takes them and she puts some lace and stuff inside them and decorates them up and makes them really pretty. And this is how she intended for them to be used. This is actually one that I made for this book, and um, she did give me permission that I can make some of them myself. So I do plan on making some of them, and we'll have them in my shop as well, hopefully. More of the kits. 
more coffee dyed paper. Here's some Tim Holtz tissue paper that I just decoupaged on the corner of that page. Here's a book page pocket that I've decorated up again with a window from an envelope with some dried flowers in it. This is a, a tuck spot. It's a, no, it's not. This is Velcroed and it opens up like this. I thought it was a tuck spot, but it's just Velcroed with some Velcro dots that again, Joy has in her shop. JJ with Joy on Etsy. Here is another glossine bag with a tag inside of it. And here I've got tea bag, fussy cuts, some string, a little bug, a negative of a die cut, a whale tail round tab punch, and a cute card or a cute tag. This tag was and I don't know what I'm doing. Oops. But I love how it turned out. But I just took a circle and I kind of cut a little bit of it off, turned it upside down and glued it together to make it kind of look like a pot. Behind here I have some tea bag to look like dirt coming out of the pot and then just some die cuts to make it look like a little plant or something. And I thought that turned out so cute. Here is the bug die cut in this signature. This folds open. More of my stencil coffee dyed paper. And this has got to be one of the funnest pieces in the book but this has some real fur on it and a picture of a fox there and this is part of that set of journaling cards that i bought out of joy's shop more coffee dyed paper this one folds out majorly so that's a big one here's another really fun element it is a tag made out of an alteration tag, and I took where it's perforated and I tore it. I just kind of moved it and stapled it on there, and then I did the die cuts and the fussy cuts and tea bag, and I just love how that turned out. And it just tucks behind this. As you can see, this is a negative of a die cut. It's got a little leaf charm here hanging on it, and it's got a cluster down here of stuff. So here is the back of the book, or the back of the signature for this one. This is a big old cluster that Joy had made, and I thought that this went well with it. It says Into the Woods, and it's just a big journaling card that she had made. It's like a full page journaling card so this just tucks up in there and I thought that looked nice together so then here is the middle of signature two and three so we're on to the final signature now in this front pocket is another one of the journaling cards that Joy had made that I bought out of her shop and it's a cute little squirrel so I paired it up with this little tag that I had made that just has some squirrels on it. Inside is the Edith Holden book page tag that each signature has. More ledger paper. This is another one of the tags out of Joy's set that I bought from her. It, I made it into a tuck spot. ledger paper some grungy coffee dyed paper here's the book page pocket for this signature 
It's got a little mushroom die cut there. It says documented. It's got some lace and stuff behind it. This is a window pocket out of an envelope with some dried flowers there. A little cluster down the middle of it and it's sewn. This is a really fun page. So here I just have this little label from the kit. A Tim Holtz pocket full of ephemera pieces. And then on this side I have a craft colored envelope just stamped and dirtied up with some tea bag and a negative from a die cut and some cluster here i've got some jute a little label this fun tracy fox double layered tag that goes in the pocket here behind it and then it itself is another pocket and here I've just taken some craft colored cardstock and I've sewn some straight lines across it to write on it. And I've done a little cluster. And you can also flip it over and write on the back. Here is the glossine bag for this signature. Again, it's clustered up with a bunch of different stuff, tea bag, fussy cuts, die cuts, lace. Inside is a little Tracy Fox tag with, that's not supposed to be there, with a little label, a Tim Holtz acetate butterfly, and a little Tim Holtz word chip. And this just hangs over the top like so. There's the die cut bug for this signature. More of the ledger paper. Some really grungy coffee dyed paper. This is just paper clipped in there. It is removable. You can write on the back of it, but it's another one of those cards out of the um, set that I bought from JJ with Joy on Etsy. This is not a tuck spot. It's just a decoration on the page. It's got a little tab there. Here is the tissue for this one. It's just a piece of napkin that matches the um, glossine bag in the front of the journal that Joy made. So I thought that that was fun to add that in there. Here is the burlap pocket for this, and this is a cute little tag. Again, this was using these little vellum pieces out of these books. Um, I just took a couple of them that matched my theme and put it on this cute little tag and sewed them on there and I thought it turned out adorable. More ledger paper. And then this is the back of the third signature. Here we've got a little cluster that Joy made. I made it into a tuck spot, added this little tag there. This goes with the one in the front of the book. It's just die cuts with some crazy sewing around it, some acetate. The back of this one I did just so, so you could write over that. And then there is a Tracy Fox layered tag with a mushroom sticker on it. This one I crumpled up to make it look kind of old and like it had been worn and used. And then that's the inside back of the book. Just more of the kit and a little cluster in the back. So that's the side view of her. I love how the little fur and the different textures kind of stick out a little bit. From the top you can see the sari silk and the ribbon popping up and the little butterfly wings. Again that's what the front looks like. And the spine with all of the beads. And then the hand sewn leather closure. So again, this will be listed for sale in my shop on Facebook, Cassie's Boutique. Look in the description down below for the link for that. 
Um, please like this video, share, subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload videos. And when this sells, I will edit the name of the video and put sold behind it. I appreciate you stopping by and taking a look at my journal today. I absolutely loved making this journal. This is a very hard one for me to let go, but I know as much as I love it and I loved making it, somebody out there will love it just as much. So until next time, guys, thanks for hanging out and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.